Hey guys, Dave here for Big Jeepers Garage. So today we're going to be uh, installing this right here. This is the Rusty's ZJ tow hook kit. Um, I've seen a lot of people put these tow hooks and they just drill up into the frame somewhere and, and slap some bolts in. And that's not a good thing because where they're putting these, they're they're the frame is not made to hold the tow hook. So you really need something stronger. And Rusty's addresses that. And I'll show you real quick what's in the kit. And then we're going to get started. Let's go. Okay, here we have it. We have the, the tow hooks, the hardware for installing the brackets, and directions. Um, these are pretty heavy duty. Um, they weigh probably four or five pound piece. I don't know. Nah, maybe not. I don't know. They are heavy. Okay, now there are several clips here, 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 all right, now these pull up, you pull the tops out, these are like, well, let me show you real quick, I don't use the proper thing because you can't see spending money when I have a pair of side cutters that do the same thing, pull that up, then you pull the other one up, I'm not going to try to do that left handed, but that's just what I'm going to be doing. Then we have over here, we've got more of them. These are just the straight Christmas tree clips. These all have to come out. And then there are several across the bottom as well, which I'm not gonna show you. You can just see that after I get it out. But we're gonna have to remove all these clips before we can take this bumper off. And I'm gonna save those ones on the top for last. Amazing, there are no clips on the bottom of this bumper whatsoever. We'll have to fix that when we put this back together. And we can either put the correct clips in or do the old zip tie trick, which I'm probably gonna do the zip tie trick because they're super easy to just remove if I need to in a quick situation off-road. Or if, it, if they pop, I just take another zip tie and I zip tie it up off road and snip off the exit. Every one of these clips on the inner fender broke. Um, part of the problem is I don't know what the clip is and I'm using these to take them out, which I probably shouldn't, but I'll drill them out if necessary or find a way to get them out and I'll just replace them when I put them back together.
Here's the side. This will bolt right here. I guess the hardest part is uh, getting the bumper off. These really don't look that bad. Know, can you see? Yeah, you can see. A little bit. There we go. And we'll bolt through there on the bottom of the radiator support to hold it straight. A little extra support. And we're going to bolt into these four holes. Awesome. All right. Here's the installed product right here. I ran these bolts up in so that we wouldn't have anything hanging down and there was clearance up on the top below the condenser for the air conditioning. And make sure when you tighten these down you use the open end to hold the nut rather than the closed end, the box end, because you're not going to get your wrench off of it. I almost made that mistake. And here's the passenger side. It's a little more difficult because you have to work around the horns, but um, putting these in and tightening them up, the bolts weren't bad. It was these nuts in here. I'm not sure if you can see or not. Um, if I had little girly hands, I wouldn't have any problem. I just, I can, get into my knuckles and that's it. Um, I had to get creative with it. I'm sorry you didn't see it, but uh, battery died on the camera, so. All right, now we're just gonna take and put the bumper back on and we will attach the hooks to this point here. Hopefully my camera will stay running for that. Okay, so here they are installed. These weren't too bad to put on. They were just a little tight to get the wrench in there. Oh. Here's the other one. And here's the zip ties that I used instead of the clips because I just don't have any clips. Use those across the bottom. And there was nothing holding this up before, so this is more secure now. And I think they look good. They should be strong. I mean, for a hundred, well, $85 for the kit, plus $11, and then shipping and tax, 
$121 worth it to be able to wheel this thing. Everywhere else I put the clips back except for over here on the fender. And over here on the fender, I use these, which are the ones that this part slides out and then the other part will pull out. It kind of locks it in place. I use those because I had them laying around and I don't have any more. So that's why we zip tied the front end. Okay. All right, so there you have it. The installation of the Rusty's ZJ toe hook mount for the front. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a nice day. Too bad I didn't film any of it.